Hello and welcome back everybody, Akam of DL here, and I, I know this is a little bit later in, in the day. Uh, today, uh, we actually got something very, very big. We have the adjustments to the Kaleidoscape, so this is going to be an entire patch note. I'll be, uh, I'll pretty much just be, um, going through it and just saying my thoughts on, on each and every, uh, a, a little thing. So, hopefully you guys... I guess enjoy this i guess we because like based off of what i'm seeing right now right and uh, and i didn't look all that far to be honest because i spent most of my time testing this out whenever i could today it's mostly split all right it it's mainly split between those who do classcape for the prince and those who do classcape for the mode itself this is where the split will happen those who do classcape for the prince they enjoy this and for those who, and for those who do it because they like roguelikes, they are not as much of a fan of this update. So, so first of all, what even changed with this? So, so first of all, adventurers, when you, when you skip to floor 30, your adventure start level will be increased. Uh, uh, this change will not apply when skipping floors other than 30. So, so, so A, do bear that in mind, but... But, but, but if I'm, but, but if I recall correctly, um, I did this a few hours ago. I got a haircut, uh, uh today. Uh, you do, you do definitely start at a higher level, like much higher. So you can scale a lot easier, like really, really easy. Everything just becomes not bad at all. So, so that's fine. Uh, but then percentage gain from, from upgrading certain abilities beyond level 10 will be increased. So, so some of this means is, it, is that once we start to need Dusk Ambers, it will be a bigger boost increase, making them much, much more, th more worthwhile. So, for example, um, some some from 1020 have a 1.5 increase instead of a 0.5, so I will include HP, Strength, Skill Damage, Reses, um, the Dawn Amber being the Red Amber, and XP Boost. These are all going to increase by 1.5 instead of Instead of now this one percent, in which the one percent will apply to crit rate, crit damage, force strike, recovery, and the purple ambers. So, so overall, they just buffed everything we can do. So that is great. That's great. But then enemies, uh, certain enemies have their level reduced. Uh, certain enemies HP reduced. Many enemies strength reduced, and interval between enemies healing skills will be increased. Meaning it will take them longer in order for them to do a heal. Meaning healer rooms are not that big of a deal anymore. They are much easier to handle. Much, much easier. But then for bosses, all bosses HP reduced, all bosses strength reduced. Interval between Harl's attacks will be increased. Meaning it will take them longer to attack. Um, Harl's uh, Raven's Gale will take longer to activate. So it's better, obviously. He can still hit hard, but... But you can maneuver around him much easier. And the freezing ice attacks used by the uh, Pincers family of bosses will pursue the player for less time. This is good. That was annoying as shit. So that, so, so this is all the changes that we do have. And now though, I do actually want to flip this to in-game uh, very quickly, right here. So let's now move away from that music and I want to enter the classscape real quick, all right? So, so first of all, uh, the, these uh, Fafnir uh, bonuses now, uh, uh, let's take HP for example, obviously everything will stop at the 6%, but now, this will now stop at 20% versus something like, I'm just, I'm just going to take these Dusk Ambers, this will now stop at 15%. These are still like pretty big increases because, because one pretty much doubles from, from like a total ten percent to now a total twenty percent, and the, uh, and, and that goes from ten percent to fifteen percent. So this is a pretty sizable increase if you do have have all these maxed out. And when it comes to the, uh, to the um waves now, wait no not waves. Um I guess the lesser floors, where it's like a not a boss. Um. Just mobs. Where there's just mobs, that's not bad either. That's just really easy. You just sweep through it. 
The bosses you don't really notice because you still do feel a difference between a standard floor and a boss. You still feel that. It's not that much different, but but however, you can still shred them pretty easily. And, and it will still fall down to, as long as you know what that boss does, you will be able to deal with it accordingly. Because, for example, I'm learning Auto Twins because... Because this is a pretty big boost. I want the boosts. You can still die to Sela like five times if you don't know what you're doing. Alright. That 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 skill cap will still increase. But they just made it easier. That's all I did. They just made it easier. Which, well, I'm fine with. Because I do this for the Prince. I'm one of those guys. Because I'm only okay with, with roguelikes. Like, sure, it's fun to play every, every once in a while. But it's nothing that's been really up my alley but hey i will give credit for you this game is fun this game is fun to play every every once in a while and and now i'll definitely try to play it uh more often because also like i i just i just bought all of my required on the site so it's like i'm going to be investing into bonuses now anyway and and i think that's probably about it before this video, I just want to uh, go over all all the changes and say my thoughts on them. But do let me know what you think of the changes down below as well. I want to see how I want to see how split uh, the comment section is. But but I think that that this change overall, um, the split kind of speaks for itself. Um, for us who do it for the prince, we like it. No, those not for the prince, they're only okay to don't like it that much. I think they should have done something about the prince rather than the mode itself. That's what I think they should have done, and everyone would have been happy. That's what I think. Let me know what you think as well. I can probably uh, talk about some some future like how to further just classcape video if that's something you guys want me to do because I bet I can fish out some pretty fun ideas that. I hope could actually happen. So, so that's gonna be it for this video. A little bit of a quickie, and I'll see you all tomorrow, where I'll be going over the Okada letter because I work a lot tomorrow. I need a video. See you then. Bye.